the horrors inflicted on African American women during slavery, especially sexual violations and forced pregnancies, have been all but wiped from cultural and legal memory. Supreme Court's Roe v. Wade reversal is akin to sexual subordination and forced pregnancies used to subvert African-American girls and women who were enslaved, said New York Times essayist Michelle Goodwin. If cotton was euphemistically king, African-American women's wealth maximizing forced reproduction was queen. Just like cotton, a female slave fertility was a commodity or reproductive raw material. Women in general had a particular currency in not just the slave system, but the family system as well. Prized for their sex or their wounds, and often both. This uniquely feminine experience of slavery resonates to the current day. Forced pregnancy was common among the slave breeding farms of the South in both the United States and Central America. American slaveholders supported closing the transatlantic slave trade. They did so to protect the domestic market, boosting their own breeding operations. They propagated new slaves themselves and allowed their sons to and had their physicians exploit female anatomy while working to suppress African-American midwives practicing in the areas of fertility, contraception, and abortion. Reproduction and its control became the planter's prerogative and profit source. Women could try to escape, ingest toxins, or jump out of a window. Abortion by suicide. Except it was hardly a sure thing. If we reconcile female slave resistance to coarse breeding as in part a struggle for emancipation and in part a struggle for reproductive freedom, the two tales become one. A comprehensive narrative that fuses the pursuit of reproductive freedom into the pursuit of civil freedom. What is reproductive freedom? Is it the freedom to pursue sexuality as you see fit Sexual freedom and reproductive freedom coexist and exemplifies the importance of personal autonomy or self-determination of human beings over their own bodies. The Supreme Court has ruled that the right to privately attain an abortion is no longer protected by the federal government, leading to forced pregnancies across many states with abortion trigger laws. Fertility and sexual freedom has been greatly diminished in many states across the United States. This is a landmark case that absolutely changed the game for women of color in this country, said Monica Simpson, Executive Director for Sister Song Women of Color Reproductive Justice Collective. Roe v. Wade was the first case that really helped alleviate reproductive oppression and allowed women to make their own decisions over their body. Now with the overturning for the 1973 case, forced pregnancy among those living in and under poverty levels, one can correlate the lack of bodily autonomy to that of the slave female forced to reproduce for her slave master. Michelle Goodwin, a law professor at the University of California, additionally claimed that the decision to reverse the 1973 ruling is also a violation of the Constitution's 13th and 14th Amendments since ending the forced sexual and reproductive servitude of black girls and women was integral to their passage, especially as related to black women's bodily autonomy, liberty, and privacy which extended beyond freeing them from labor in the cotton fields to shielding them from rape and forced reproduction. One of the ironies when you look across the political spectrum, the people who are the most opposed to abortion are also opposed to providing affordable birth control and welfare benefits.